Hi, how's everyone doing today? I hope you're staying safe from the COVID-19 virus. I'm gonna do my first official review. And as you can see, I don't have no fancy backdrop. I'm in my spare bedroom. Got the spare bed behind me, dog crate to the right of me. But what's up on that dog crate is the Sennheiser Evolution G4 wireless mics. Now, this is not gonna be a lengthy review. It's just gonna be my first impression on the build quality of these mics. Now, I've used other mics in the past and they were bigger than these Sennheisers, but they were a lot lighter. And I think that might kind of been the poor construction of the microphones, even the wire itself. But these Sennheisers, as you can see, they're not very big. And the weight, the amount of weight that they have for something that's built that small, it kind of like gives you reinsurance that, wow, those are built really durable. And even the wire itself, I was comparing it to one of my old systems. And this wire is, I'm gonna probably say 10 times better than what I was previously previously using. And this connection, same way. The, my old system, I'd had to wiggle this wire to get the audio to kind of connect. And then if I went too far with it, I'd pick up a bunch of noise. Which that system, I think about five years ago, I paid 350 for. Well, B&H has got a promotion going on right now that these are 500 bucks and you get an e-gift card of $130 that you can use on B&H's website. So I thought, I thought, what the heck, you know, I was going to order them anyways. Why not get $130 you don't use on B&H? But the, the build quality of them, to me, except for this front door, this front door, of course, it's plastic, and so ain't this faceplate. But the rest of it feels like like a higher grade aluminum. It might be metal, I honestly don't know. Uh, but when you buy the, this kit, it comes with two batteries, well, four batteries, Sennheiser sends four batteries in it. Um, and then of course, you know, your cable. And then here's the actual clip for the microphone, which I kinda like the design of it, but I'm not sure how, it, with the way I use it, I'm not sure how the wind is going to affect it. So I might look at maybe having to try to get a different lav mic, but I'm really not sure. But that's pretty much all I have to say about them until I'll, I'll, I'll come back to these throughout the year as I use them to kind of give my input on them and tell you how durable they've been. But thank you for watching.